What is up everybody, Tech Chucker here and welcome to episode 14 of season 2's This Week in Dioramas. Now, if you are not familiar with how this show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for the coolest looking dioramas and I showcase them right here on the show. Now, if you'd like to be showcased in a future episode, all you need to do is upload your diorama pictures to Instagram and tag them with the hashtag This Week in Dioramas. Time is running out for you to take advantage of the 20% off promo code that we've got going on my Teespring store. Go to teespring.com slash stores slash techchucker. You can get 20% off any of the items in my store. All you need to do is use the promo code LOCKDOWN by April 30th. All right, you guys. I don't know if you're like me and getting a little bit restless with all this being stuck at home sort of stuff. So I kind of wanted to spice things up, maybe not spice it up, but uh, shake things up a little bit with the regular routine and uh, offer up a challenge to all of you uh, dio creators that, uh, here, here's the details. So what I'm gonna ask that you guys do is upload a video tour of your collection be it one diorama, your entire collection, whatever it might be, maybe it's your favorite action figure, your favorite diorama display, whatever you wanna do, keep it under a minute because that's what you need to be able to upload just a regular video to Instagram. And then on Friday, May 1st, we will do like a live stream watch party and just check out everybody's collection video. Uh, and so keep it short, keep it sweet. You can do any editing you want or no editing, it doesn't matter. Uh, just to be able to showcase what you are displaying at your house, what you're most proud of. So upload it to Instagram and tag it with the hashtag TWID collection challenge. That TWID is this week in dioramas shortened. So again, hashtag TWID collection challenge. And we will on Friday, May 1st, we'll go ahead and do a live stream. No matter how many there are, whether it's a hundred or just one, we'll go through as many as we possibly can, depending on how late it gets. And we'll just enjoy everybody's uh, favorite part of their collection. An example of what uh, I'm talking about might be as simple as saying, look, I've got my turtle collection right here and I really enjoy watching or looking at that or I've got this awesome Hot Toys figure that I absolutely love. That could be the extent of your video or maybe you want to showcase a diorama that you've been working on and you've got displayed in your house somewhere. Uh, anything is fair game. Uh, it's preferred if it is, you know, diorama focused because that is what I'm most interested in, but maybe you don't have any dioramas and you just want to showcase your collection. That is okay. So by May 1st, get your diorama showcase uploaded to Instagram. Tag it with the hashtag TWID collection challenge and we'll do that live stream on my channel and we'll still do the regular uh, this week in dioramas episode so we'll see how it goes so i'm excited to see what you guys come up with before we jump into the showcase we do need to reveal the winner of last week's fan vote and your winner is the subway station dio by joe dios Congratulations, you will now be entered into the Grand Championship vote at the end of the year. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of this episode where you'll get another chance to vote for your favorite on the community tab on my channel. Let's go ahead and start the showcase off with Vasco Toys. Uh, does lots of really great stuff, and this one also does not disappoint whatsoever. This is a Resident Evil Raccoon Police Department station. Uh, we've seen one or two others of this. Uh, they're always super cool. I finally know that this is from Resident Evil, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Uh, this thing looks amazing. The paintwork on here is absolutely amazing on here I love all of it and then the picture that you took here it looks so realistic just the angle that you took it at and the lighting looks so professional and so good these uh, little door handles are sick looking did you uh, 3d print those it just looks so awesome. I absolutely love every little bit about it this uh, again I go back to the paintwork on here it looks so good look at this thing 
That is so amazing. It looks so awesome. Wow, what an awesome piece. So great job to Vasco Toys. Uh, DM them if you are looking for any kind of commissions. Uh, you can see they do some really, really awesome work. Next up coming from Kirk and Rising is a really cool piece. Absolutely love this thing. It is a 1 12th scale uh, city basketball court and it is so cool. I love all of the paintwork. The court that you did on here is amazing and all of the fence work that you've got on here. But just take a look at the weathering of the paint that you've got throughout. Such detail and talent on here. And then you can see some really cool graffiti on this back wall here and I think some more on this one as well. Uh, just a, a really cool take on uh, a, a street basketball court and the building in the background which what is this some sort of uh, like an old school or something like that absolutely amazing the scale of this thing is really big uh, and it looks like you can kind of move some of the pieces around uh, to kind of get the different looks that you want but just check this out it is so cool little basketball hoops wow this is such a cool and impressive looking piece absolutely love it it is wow so cool so much detail and look at that i've actually got a lock with a chain that is attention to detail. It is so cool. So amazing job to Kirk and Rising uh, on just an absolutely stellar piece. Next one coming from Fernando Rojas. Again, always, always does amazing work. This is a 124th scale uh, piece. Looks to be some sort of like garage of some sort. You can see his hand in there for some scale. This thing is so realistic looking. You present it so well with your pictures. It's just so awesome. Just check out the paintwork on here. If it wasn't for your hand, this would look real. And your work is always that way. It's so realistic looking. All of the props, everything has that uh, uh, just look of, of authenticity. That's kind of the word that I'm looking for. And this thing is so amazing. I absolutely love it. I love that you, you know, are able to incorporate cars in here as well and your paintwork on those also is so incredible you just look at the weathering on here it really looks real where do you get cars like this this is crazy so absolutely love your work it is so incredible uh, Awesome, go check out Fernando Rojas if you have not already. This one really struck my eye. This is coming from Classic Racing Panels. I don't believe we've seen you on the show yet. So this is a epic piece. It is absolutely so cool. What are we calling this? Modeling Monday, step into the workshop of Richard E. Mason. Seven and a half months of work went into this super cool diorama. I agree. This thing is a superb piece. So I'm assuming Richard E. Mason, are you the one that made this? Or I, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments because I'm not familiar. Some some folks, their accounts, they're resharing other people's work. Uh, other people, are it's their account, but it's just got a different name. Uh, so let us know a little bit more of the details in here of what, uh, who built this. This thing is amazing though. The detail work on here, just look at all of this. It looks so real. It is, I mean, chock full of details. Just check out the tools on the back there. The paint work, the detail work. I mean, this looks like it's a real life thing uh, that I could actually go visit this workshop. I mean, there's so many details. How long it would take just to tear this down and put it back up with all the pieces in here is absolutely mind boggling. So amazing work. It is so realistic. Glad to be able to showcase this. This is a really unique piece coming from Kraken's Customs. I, I don't know if this is a trend or not, but we're starting to see a little more of these bookshelf, book nook type display pieces. And this is another one of those. This is a co-worker had you made make this for their wife's bookshelf. I really like these little book nook things. And you'll see the, uh, the wider shot of this. And essentially it it's a piece that you can put in between books on your bookshelf to create a little scene. And this kind of reminds me of uh, a Harry Potter, uh, di yep, Diagonal Alley, Diagonal Alley. I can't say it. I can't say it. But this thing is so cool. I love the, the, the look of this looking through the wall into Diagon Alley. It is so, so well done. So awesome job on this piece. 
Here is another absolutely sick diorama from Diorama Boy. This thing is super cool. I really dig this thing. Uh, they are selling it. Not sure if they still have it available or not. Uh, 65 shipped. Uh, UK, so 65 euros, not sure what that translates to um, US dollars or not, but hit them up if you are interested in some of their work. Uh, I'm gonna say 65 bucks shipped is uh, a low ball. Uh, that is a low price for a piece of work like this. I think you could definitely sell this for more. So don't sell yourself short, dude. This thing is amazing. I really love the fact that there are lights. The fact that there are lights on it puts this at a minimum 100 bucks. Minimum. Shouldn't be, uh, yeah. So, um... But this thing is just so cool. I really dig it. The the graffiti looks really nice. These uh, tiles are looking awesome. You can see some really nice paintwork on here. I just think that you do really, really nice work. Really dig on the, the uh, ambiance of this piece. And then the shot that you've got with uh, the figure walking in the dark is super cool too. I really like that. So awesome job to Diorama Boy on another great piece. Next up coming from Shelf Gravy again. Absolutely solid looking piece. This is so cool. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sewer layer uh, diorama made for a very good friend. That's awesome. Uh, what I really dig about this, I mean, I, I like a lot about it, but the thing that's so cool is you can see that there is actually um, some erosion in the concrete here where there is a drip occurring right here at this um, uh, like pipe sort of door which is amazing looking this thing is superb looking but that the, the attention to detail and the paintwork that you did on here you can see the different tones of color to make it look like it's actually wet and you can see that it has been dripping down into this grate which is amazing because you painted that also to look like it's been uh, dripped on corroded on and it's just an amazing piece. The The workmanship on here is stellar. You just did a great job on this. All the little details, everything fits. It looks just right. And just look at this. That is attention to detail. All of the little wear and tear and weathering that you've done on the different joints in the right spots where you'd actually see some corrosion by the joints. Amazing. Awesome work. Really digging it. You throw a little couch in here and then you throw some turtles in and look at that. That is so absolutely cool. Fully modular, pulls apart, all of that. Great, great piece. This one's coming from Kinkilla39 and again, really nice looking piece. You've really got some great, great paint apps on here. The skill set is awesome. You've got it about 90% done with this apartment. Um, it just looks so good. I love the paintwork, especially the paintwork in this green area on the bottom portion in what would be what like Wayne's coat or whatever. Really dirty and just grimy looking. You got some nice trash uh, to make this look like it's it's an abandoned uh, apartment complex that probably is getting you know squatted in by some drifters or whatever. And it looks super cool. I love the fact that you've got. You know, you can see that there's something around the corner just gives it that extra feel of realism that I really dig with this piece. You can see you've actually built a room as well. And look at the walls there. It actually looks realistic with some of the nasty uh, just grime that winds up showing up there. And now it looks like you've got another diorama in here. Just so many cool little details within. You got a little fire extinguisher thing. So cool to see all of this. So awesome job to Kinkilla39 on a really cool looking piece. Next up coming from The Chris Lyons. Wow, this piece is amazing. We've got a Disney store in here. I think this is like a the Pizza Planet from Toy Story. Yeah, it's it's it just hits you on all the feels and this thing is so clean. It's like a uh, quarter turn what what would this it, it's not a full 90 degree it'd be like anyway it's it's a cool piece i love the uniqueness that it's not a full-on 90 degree corner it really opens it up so you get a lot more space i mean this thing is super clean looking it is so cleanly done just perfectly painted everything is so uniform and there's so many cool details throughout on here that it I, it's so cool to be able to see 
some of this just crisp work that you've done on here. Lots of great details with this little uh, flyer with the little uh, tags ripped off that is super cool to see and yeah I, there's just so many cool things to say about this thing and ah oh, this would be fun to have this next one coming from time capsule scratch builder was so unique i just loved it so much this is uh, what are we calling it is thunderbird one and hanger uh 95 there i uh, thought we'd show it off this thing is so detailed there's so much going on here it looks to be like there's a uh, facility up here uh, with a swimming pool and whatnot and lo and behold underneath is a hangar of some sort and the detail on this piece is so good look at this thing this is looking amazing the top portion with all of the details on here with the water and the uh, the swimming pool and what have you and then down underneath the bunker, you can see all of the little details throughout on the walls in the back and the little rocket here, the Thunderbird one. It's, there's just so many details. You got lights in here. It is, wow, what an amazing piece. I absolutely love it. It is so cool. You can see here, the bottom of the pool opens up so that the rocket can actually shoot out, which is a really cool feature. So awesome piece so cool to see yeah this is just wow this one's coming from anthony geek i think you might be another first time uh showcase on here and this is a uh diorama star wars diorama you can see the tie fighter is smashed and broken down and whatnot and the paintwork on here is super cool i love the little crash uh path or whatever that you've got here in the dirt looking really cool and then you've got a, a trooper uh, running alongside to try and I don't know what they're trying to do but I just really dig this piece um, I'm, I'm assuming that this is some sort of maybe a kit that you are able to assemble and um, paint or did you make this by scratch by scratch from scratch I just want to know a little bit more about this maybe if I translate it oh here we go you did translate it I, I must not have seen that before Star Wars diorama made in the kind of time and uh, blah 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 diorama resemblance the crash scene on Jakku uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment okay I want to know how much of this you made from scratch and what was a kit, what you painted. I just like knowing all those details. It's just fun to see uh, how everybody puts this stuff together. And yeah, this thing looks so good with all of the little broken damage there with the uh, inner ribbings. Oh, really nice attention to detail. So great looking piece. This one's coming from Hepburnicus. Uh, does lots of really nice detailed work. And this thing is super cool. What do we got? New robot, old rail bridge. I think I've seen this bridge before, but let's watch this little video. You can see, look at this, lots of great detail. The paintwork on here, look at that. That has a lot of detail on here. And then you've got the bot up there. Oh, that is a really cool looking piece. And then we've got another video here showing a little bit more detail. The paintwork on here is amazing. Look at all that. There is so much going on here, so much talent. Everything looks so real and organic that, ah, really digging on this piece. This one's coming from Creative Rich 77 uh, What are we calling this, the Ghost's Cargo Bay? I'm not familiar. What is this from? Um, let's get through, see not sure but really digging on all of the details that you've got you've got a star wars figure in here so i'm assuming that this is star wars related really nice angles lots of different cool stuff in here the paint is looking very very nice uh, so great job on this piece here is another piece coming from turtle lavic uh, lots of really really nice work from you and this is what are we calling it? D tmt bleh, i can't talk tmnt diorama work phase 16 not sure what that means, but I do like this graffiti. It is looking really nice, and these windows are really looking tight. That looks nice. Super cool looking piece. Let's scroll through. You got a little fan uh, worked into the windows there. You got a little bit more graffiti paintwork there, or artwork, I should say. And this thing is really looking good. Look at that. It looks like, uh, is that Leonardo coming through? That is super cool really nice work on this you got oh, a lot of great detail on here your brickwork looks amazing paintwork always is on point uh, and 
I would just love to see uh, your entire workspace. That would be super fun to see all of your displays and whatnot. So awesome, awesome work as usual. Next, this one's coming from High School Creations. And this is, what do we got? Got the boys testing out the, clo uh, the close to complete. Not sure what that, maybe I'm reading it wrong. Maybe I don't know how to read, I don't know. Anyway, let's cycle through a couple of these pictures because the last one here really gives us a show of what you did here. And the paintwork on here is stellar. I really like the work that you did here. It looks so nice. All of the details uh, are really popping with your paint job that you did on here. Sculpt is looking amazing. You can see that it's starting to fall apart, this little uh, old ruin, and it really is looking very, very nice. So great work on this piece. This one's coming from Freda0204. And you've been really knocking out a lot of great work on your dioramas and pictures. And I love seeing the ACBA style pictures that some of you guys are doing with your dioramas. So definitely include those stylized pictures that you are taking with your dioramas when you're also showcasing your dio if you are you know, interested in doing that. Because I really do like seeing those pictures. Uh, make sure, of course, we can see the diorama and you've done that definitely so that we can see your dial. The workmanship is looking really nice on here. You can see lots of different paint colors and tones. I love the greens on here. It just really, really works well. And I'm really digging on this piece. You put a lot of work and effort into it and somehow you're, you're getting this stuff out really fast too. So great, great work on this. This next one's coming from DB Dioramas. Does a lot of great work, really uh, unique, all sorts of different styles. And this one is a dojo work in progress. You see you've got uh, the white iron fist. I've got that figure too. I have to say I hate this figure except for the hands. The hands are great for using on other figures. Anyway, this thing is really, really coming out nice. It's looking good. You've got the ex outside, external, the outside and the inside of this dojo. And it is really coming out nicely. You've got uh, some workings for the rooftop. I'm wondering, are you going to do um like tiles or whatever on the roof or i don't know i just i i can't wait to see this thing finished uh and what you come up with uh for this thing there we go yeah that's what i was asking about not tiles but uh the ribbed look and you've you've got that so awesome Awesome, can't wait to see it done. Next up, coming from Mighty Matlock, this is a saw diorama piece, and this thing is looking grimy and nasty and just gross looking, like the movie. You got the blood splatters all over, some really nice weathering on the paint throughout the tiles. You can see that one is missing right up there, and then a little bit down there, another one missing. Some nice attention to detail. Uh, with uh, This piece is just, it's just a solid looking piece that you did really great. And the cool thing about it is on this window, you can actually see the texture of the blood uh, splatter on there. So it gives it that more realistic look. I hope you didn't use real blood. That would, that just wouldn't be cool. But if you did, it made a good effect. Anyway. I'm just being a dork. Uh, this looks really good. I think you did a great job on it. And whatever you use for that paint, it really is standing out looking nice. Next up from Marvel Legender. This is Spider-Man Stance Back Tail. Uh, obviously, it is the move that he's doing or the trick with the skateboard. Um, this one, it was a little bit harder because we were really only seeing some angles of the diorama. What I can see of it, it is looking really very nice. Uh, and I dig what you've got going on here. I would love to see a straight on look. Um, maybe you've got it in your profile and I just missed it. But from what I can see, the paint apps are looking really nice on this piece. Uh, and, and I would love to see more. This one's coming from the Beltran Brothers or Bros Broken Wall Diorama. And this thing really is looking nice. You can see a giant hole where uh, somebody could have put some uh, uh, dynamite or something in the back to uh, to blow out this hole or you could use it with uh, the juggernaut or Hulk or any sort of figure and it would look amazing and even just having this dude standing right in the middle 
really just pops. It gives that uh, look of authority and, and something bad's going to happen. I really dig it. Really like the paintwork that you've got on here. It looks really nice. It really does look like concrete. Uh, the cracks are all in what I would consider to be uh, very accurate places sometimes uh, we get a little overboard with our cracks you did a great job with that uh, it all just really comes together you can see a little bit of the rebar coming out which is a nice touch to that as well so great great work on this piece this one's coming from Danny Webhead uh, we've got the uh, daredevil figure here this is I believe this is oh gosh I think I have this figure um, but it looks like you may have uh, customized his batons a little bit because his just were were they white or they were they red or brown I don't remember but they didn't have any other paint on them that I remember uh, but what we've got here is a 112th scale figure uh, thanks to bring me action for the tutorial available on their YouTube go check that whoever that is out uh, tutorial I assume on this um, cargo thing what, what are we calling that the storage cargo Jeez, I can't even think. Anyway, <laughs> um, so you made this out of corrugated cardboard and it really turned out very, very nicely. Um, wouldn't have known that you had used regular old cardboard to make this, which is super cool to be able to see things that you wouldn't expect to be the base of a particular diorama piece or a prop piece like this, and then it go ahead and turn out like this. You really did a good job on it. This one's coming from Tom's Dioramas. It is my favorite, the dumpster, and the paintwork on this is superb. You did a great job with this. Look at the weathering on the propane tank, and then the weathering with the rust on on the actual dumpster it is looking so good you really nailed it it, it looks so good and then you've got the uh, the uh, Mezco whatever this dude is called uh, scaled perfectly with this dumpster I think you did an amazing job with all of it uh, it's just so many cool little details so awesome awesome job on you know a really nice looking dumpster here is a single picture coming from Dagobah customs this is a Star Wars obviously display piece uh, what do we got here not much for detail for any other information about it I think you might be able to hit them up for some custom uh, custom work I'm not certain but I would assume so if this is something that you're interested in, hit them up on the DMs, maybe they can make you a deal. But this thing is looking really nice, very clean, lots of space to be able to put your figures on here. So a really cool looking display piece. Here is a really cool looking piece coming from Wacus Bazaar. Uh, check out their, their uh, profile because they do some really cool stuff and he's got uh, several other pictures of this particular diorama. I just really like this one with the uh, speeder rider, uh, just kind of playing with sticks in a little stream uh, the, the thing that really draws my eye to this is the realism of, of the work on here I mean these rocks all of this looks so realistic the the level of workmanship when it comes to the paint and the uh, turf and whatnot that you've got on here is so realistic looking and then of course the the quality of the picture as well I mean the lighting is perfect everything is is so well done so I really just enjoyed this picture a lot this one's coming from D's diorama uh, hopefully the music does not come through because I will get uh, a copyright infringement but I really like your work you do lots of really great graffiti work and uh, different other you know stickers and whatnot that you that you throw on there to give that realistic look of um, you know stuff that's been around for ages and has been tagged by umpteen different people uh, it's just fun to see and then uh, you know the art artistry of the little video that you've got um, go check out these dioramas uh, profile to be able to experience this video with the sound you can see the little effects of the um, the beats hitting uh, I it, it, obviously you're not getting it from what I'm showing but you can see these cool little pieces these prop pieces uh, really fun to see this one's coming from Badger Dio uh, this is a six inch figure display it is sold uh, they do lots of really nice work and I'm, I'm glad to be able to see when you guys are able to sell your work because it is um, 
I don't know, I feel it's rewarding just for me to be able to see you guys succeeding with uh, with uh, selling your work because that's what we're all, well, maybe that's not what we're all here for. We're not here to sell our work, but it's great when you do. I, let's just, let's go with that. I kind of walked myself into that little uh, corner there, but anyway back to the dial I really like what you've got going here um, the brickwork where looks really nice I love this little light over the sign that is very very nice um, I think you've got another one or two dioramas that are similar in style to this maybe they're a little bit different stores uh, but you are really knocking out some really nice looking dioramas so great job on this next up this one's coming from Phil Dread Chef um, I don't think we have uh, showcased any of your work before either and this thing is really cool I'm really digging what you've got going here uh, kind of a disheveled looking uh, building I don't know if this would be in like a war zone or whatever that might be I really dig this broken out pane half the window uh, again this is one of those sorts of display pieces that um you leave it to our mind to imagine the rest of the building and the scene which is kind of fun to be able to have these little partial buildings uh, to build out a scene so very very nice job on this this one's coming from Sparky JK and this is a pretty epic sized piece this looks to be a Doctor Strange Sanctum Sanctorum uh, still in progress so I can't wait to see everything completed uh, this looks to be pretty huge if this is a 1 12th scale display piece or a figure uh, looks to be 40 inches tall 40 think about that 40 inches tall that is over three feet tall um, that is pretty huge so can't wait to see what this thing is gonna look like completed uh, it is already looking pretty darn epic so great job already on this this one is coming from Terry D Otic. Terry Deotic. I'm not sure if I got that even remotely close. Uh, this looks to be kind of like a, a lava spill. Kind of. It is. It is a lava spill here. And I really like the vibrance of the colors. It looks really cool. You'll be able to take some uh, nice pictures. I can see you've got like a foggy background right now. Uh, turn the lights down even and do like a nighttime one. Try and shine some light on there. And I bet you that's really going to pop as well. You've got a little uh, tea light here to be able to get some of that flame light I'm wondering because it's it it's not in English so I'm not entirely certain what this is intended as if it's like a um, coffee table sort of display piece or whatever but I'm really digging on it I think you did a very nice job again really like the uh, color of the paint here and uh, you, you just did a really nice job on this this one is coming from the viewing globe uh, we've got a I, I don't know who this wrestling figure is I'm not sure it looks cool I, I've never been into wrestling or the wrestling figures but this guy looks pretty darn cool this this diorama is very nice. I really dig the lights that you've got in the ceiling. That's always a feature that I love when you guys add in there. Uh, it just completes a diorama when you can put in a ceiling and throw in some lights. Uh, it's just so much fun. Uh, it's just a single picture. It's a really nice looking diorama. I really dig on this brick wall in the background and the little props that you've got in there. So a really nice job. And then last but not least, coming from Marvelous Nick 352 Let's go ahead and play this video. This is uh, Dr. Doom, at least right now, in this. Uh, it's kind of like a ruins sort of uh, display piece. Gives you that little bit of a Greek feel. Uh, this really is looking very nice. The stonework, the sculpt work, very nicely done. Really digging on the... Uh, the the greenery that you've got on here and I'm wondering if you're planning on having this connect up with other dioramas or not um, just because you left the outer edges uh, pink so that uh, usually I like it when when you guys uh, cover that up maybe it's not done or if you are planning on butting this up against something else then yeah there's not really much point in adding all that extra paint so uh, I blathered on about that far too long I really dig this piece you did a very very nice job on it. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you really enjoyed this showcase. I very much enjoyed all of your work. Thank you so much. This show wouldn't happen if it weren't for all of you, so thank you every week for participating. But we're not quite done yet. We need to reveal my top five of the week, and you'll get your chance to vote for your favorite on the community tab on my channel. And my top five are the Resident Evil Dio by Vasco Toys, the Basketball Court Dio by Kirk and Rising, 
The Garage Dio by Fernando Rojas, The Biker Workshop by Classic Racing Panels, and The Harry Potter Book Nook by Kraken's Customs. Again, make sure you go to the community tab on my channel right after you're done watching the show and vote for your favorite and I will reveal the winner next week. We've made it to the end of another amazing episode chock full of amazing dioramas. Again, thank you so much to everybody who has been participating. It's so much fun. Hit that like button and the subscribe button and hit the bell notification if you haven't already and share this out with everybody that you can think of, especially those that you know haven't been getting showcased because they aren't aware of the show. Also, remember, post a video of your collection showcase so that we can all see what your collection looks like with all of your dioramas set up. Uh, use that hashtag on Instagram, hashtag TWID collection challenge. Again, it's hashtag TWID collection challenge, and we will do probably a live stream on hopefully Friday, May 1st, and we will go through all of your amazing collection rooms uh, with super cool displays and what have you. So make sure that you get those in as soon as you can, and I will see you in the next episode.